Yay Networks. You hope you have for embryos. Embryo, yeah. And then you have a bunch of embryos, hopefully, and you can put them into Hannah at your leisure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal. How many embryos did we get? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Jet Your Mayhem. Hello. This is a special episode. It is. And we are giving ourselves the grace to be unpolished. Oh, boy. Compared to our normal, very polished. <laughs> I mean, you know us for our <laughs> beautifully worded <laughs> and, you know, scenic videos. Yes. Uh, in front of our brown curtain. Yeah. But today is a special episode because we are sharing the results the final, final, final results yes. of our first round of IVF. Hannah, how would you describe, in a word, the first round of IVF? Yeah, let's give it a report card. What's the experience been? A, uh, a plus to F minus. Well, I'm going to give it like in kindergarten where they're like, excellent, fair, you know. Um, ours was poor. <laughs> poor. <laughs> Poor. It was a poor. Well, it def- I mean, we would have to break it down into each step because obvi- obviously, like, there's a lot in an IVF cycle that can go wrong and can go right. And we had some things go really well and some things go uh, not at all or very terribly. So. And are you ready to share with them the final results, the big news after months, months of tests and injections? <laughs> And physical pain. Yeah. And phone calls with good news and phone calls with bad news. So many phone calls. And emotional turmoil. So many ultrasounds. So many internal. <laughs> You've had things in every hole. I have. Uh, a lot of blood draws. A lot of blood. I did a lot of blood draws. You did one blood draw. It has all now come to a conclusion. I mean, before we begin that, I would just like to give a shout out to my right arm would, that did a blood draw every other day for 12 days. People are edging to the edge of their I seats. I know. And I'm like, hold on They're- a second. The unsung hero of this cycle is my right arm. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to share. I mean, Shane and I have talked about this. This ha- We're not really, we haven't been sharing things in exact timing of when they've happened. So we've had about six weeks now to process the news, you know, figure out how we want to share it, when we want to share it and all of that. So we've been, you know, people always say like, you shouldn't share if you don't yeah, want like to, whatever. Keep it private. We've been keeping we it private. We have been keep, Yeah. This is, you know, this is about six weeks ago now that this all ended and we are ready to talk about it. Yeah. So Hannah, the big question, Yeah. how many embryos did we get? And an embryo is kind of like what you're hoping for at the end of an IVF cycle. Yeah. You know, you get the eggs. And then you get the sperm, you put them together, and you hope, that you hope for embryos. Embryo, yeah. And then you have a bunch of embryos, hopefully, and you can put them into Hannah at your leisure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that's the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal. How many embryos <laughs> did we get? Zero. Zero. <laughs> and we are going to... Tell you why we have zero yep. and where we are going from here. It was a very unexpected outcome. It was. It was. It was an outcome that took a lot out of us. Yes. Uh, physically. <laughs> um, <laughs> but very much emotionally. Yeah. Uh, we've been, yeah, like Hannah said, processing this failure yeah. for the last six or so weeks. And it's a tricky one because it feels like we didn't really finish the IVF cycle. And we're going to, you know, tell you everything that happened. But, you know, it's it's kind of an unclosed book. It's not over. Yeah. It's, it's, not, just, it's far from over. Yeah. But right now, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> For the next few months, it's over. Um, so why don't we go back in case some of you are like, wait a minute. They were doing IVF? <laughs> Let's give a kind of like the... Highlights, lowlights of yeah. the whole process. Yes. Um, and then let them know how and how the day of embryo making went. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. So <clears throat> everything was really good for the first uh, eight days, I would say. Like eight days of injections. I got over that first really hard injection. The rest were really easy, didn't hurt. I have to say, like... <laughs> 
ab- after you did your first injection, yeah, and it took you forty five minutes, yeah, of just like I can't do it, yeah, I, I was worried about the next ten days of injections, yeah, because I was like, okay, this is clearly very very difficult for you, yeah, and you, it like it really ramps up after day one, yeah, that was just one shot, and we knew you, it was going to end up being like three a day, and you know, and you just became. After day one, this injection monster. <laughs> like, you got so good at it. Yeah. I think day two, it took you, like, three minutes. Yeah. By that night or, like, the next day. Yeah. Because you were at the point where you were doing injections, like, two in the morning, two at night. It yeah. was a lot. And you were just like, boom, in, done, boom, in, done. <laughs> Give me another one. Who wants an injection? I'll do it. <laughs> Uh, but you got so good at it, and you were like, at one point, you said to me, I actually look forward to these now. I know. And I was like, you're a sick person, but you got so good at it. And it didn't hurt, and, you know, by those next, like, by day five, I think, I started to feel my ovaries, and then I was like, it's working, you know, stick them in. It, it really, yeah, yeah, it was totally so much easier than I expected it to be. I would do another egg retrieval. <laughs> You know, if it didn't cost so much money, uh, I would do another egg retrieval, like, no problem. And, okay, so, like, first, you know, kind of half of the injection phase felt like it was going really well. Yes. Then we got a phone call with results from my sperm test. Yes. So Shane had done that in October, um, and there were enough sperm that it was not really a, a concern about our IVF cycle. The doctor was like, we can make this work. Like, yeah. no and, worries. And to be clear, there were very few sperm, yeah. very few usable sperm, like in the single digits. Well, but double digits. Double digits, double but like digits. barely. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to not make me <laughs> blush. Um, but... Uh, it was enough that like enough, if we got yeah. eggs. It not was, a lot, but enough. It was fine. So... As we were getting through the injection portion in what month of eight May, yeah. um, our, our doctor was like, why don't we do another sperm test? Yeah. Since the last one that we have was in October, let's just make sure that your sperm still look the same. And so we didn't have time to do our IVF cycle in the fall because we had planned to go to LA starting like January 1st and it just, the timing didn't work out. And our doctor was kind of concerned that Shane's sperm would get worse over the winter. But we were like, I don't think it will. Like Shane has been on the medication. Like he's on a medication, if you don't know this, that affects sperm health. That's why we're doing this. It also keeps my spinal muscular atrophy from progressing yes important it's a very important important medication (laughs) important medication uh so we were like no he's been on this medication for a few years like we haven't been monitoring the sperm so like we're just assuming that it's dead like stable yeah but we assumed it was stable it wasn't it wasn't stable so we got this phone call in the midst of like injection phase yeah and on like day eight it was the result of my sperm analysis and the person just told me you have zero sperm in this yes. sample. Zero. Zero. I was like, no, like how many? Like five. Like one. Like I know you're saying zero, but how many? <laughs> she was like, no, zero. You have zero sperm. Uh yeah. sorry about Not that. Not just like <laughs> zero modal sperm, but no. zero anything. Zero anything. It was a, a poor performance <laughs> on my part. But it was this very unexpected, oh, like maybe my sperm are changing, Mm -hmm. you know, and maybe I don't have any to rely on. Yeah. Because at the end of the injection phase, we do the egg retrieval. And on that day, I had hoped to produce a fresh sample of my sperm. Yeah. So that we could make embryos with fresh sperm. I mean, like I was providing my half and that was the other half. Like, it was equally as important yeah. as what I was doing. Uh, and, you know, yeah. So they said, this is not the end. We have some frozen sperm from back in October. Yeah. We are still going to do a fresh uh, collection on the day of. Yeah. Because you never know. It can, like, things can go up and down for unknown reasons. So fingers crossed, you'll have some on the day of. Yeah. Okay. We get through that tough moment. 
A couple of days later, your injections are ramping up. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I think I, like now this is six weeks ago, so I'm kind of forgetting how many days of, we should have written this all down. People said that we would forget the details, and you sure do. I wrote some notes, but I looked back through them, and they're all just funny things that happened. Yeah. Like Hannah was doing an injection the one night, and out of nowhere, she, I, I said, I had a, I had a really bad bruise on my stomach, and so I was like, oh, there's nowhere here. Yeah, she couldn't find a good spot to, to inject, put it in her belly, and I said, your thighs are looking pretty plumpy, <laughs> meaning, like, why don't you just stick it in your thigh? <laughs> and I was like, not, I, I wasn't in that mindset so i just like looked at you and i was like why do you think that that's a helpful thing to say right now <laughs> and i'm just like you're going like, to the needle you're going to do something difficult right now you're looking like you've gained weight <laughs> that is not at all what i meant i was like oh okay um, and we both just like burst out so laughing funny. yeah um, so you wrote that down we didn't write down all the helpful information no, we like did notes, yeah. how many days of injections i did i think i did 12 i thought it was 11 but whatever. 11 11 or 12 uh on day 10 i believe it was day 10 we get a phone call we are at a cheese shop and as one is i had gone in in the morning for one of my final ultrasound checkups it was like the second to last one yeah at the end they were doing ultrasounds on hannah every single day yeah to like really fine-tune the day of the a retrieval so yeah. that it was like maximum success exactly uh, so I had been expecting a phone call telling me if I was going to trigger that night or night. So I think this was actually day 11 because they did have me trigger that day. Yeah. Um, and I got a phone call expecting them to be like, you're good to go. We're triggering tonight. And they were like, um, we have some concerns. We have and some bad news. Your doctor is going to call you, but I wanted to give you a heads up. Like when you get a, a warning yeah. that your doctor is about to call with news. Yeah. We were like, we were like, no, 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 no. At this point. Hannah's stomach area, where she's been doing dozens of injections, is, like, painful. Like, bloated. Like, you were not a happy camper. Yeah. Near the end. You were like, this is... Yeah. This is becoming a lot. And we were just, like, stressed about it. We're there. And now we have this call. Well, and we were excited <laughs> for it to be... Like, we yeah. had... At that point, I had almost 60 follicles. Like, it was... <laughs> we were so close to being done, and every checkup had been you know, flying colors, just like it's going great. They were like, your eggs will have amazing, yeah. or your fall holes, like, and you have a ton. It's yeah. no wonder that you feel so full yeah. and that this is so uncomfortable, but like, great job, Hannah. Yeah. You're doing amazing. Every appointment. Yeah. Now this phone call. And then okay. we get this. Um, I don't really know like the scientific details of this, so I'm going to skim over it. <laughs> Essentially, um, my progesterone level needed to stay below one. And it had been, it had been, it had been. And then on that day, it spiked to over three, which was like real bad. Yeah. The doctor basically called us saying, because Shane doesn't have sperm and because we think we might only have this frozen sample, my you know, suggestion is that you cancel this cycle. Because progesterone being high yeah. can really affect like the, the egg, egg quality. quality. Exactly. So she might have a lot, but like none of them might work. Yeah. Um, and we don't want to waste our tiny amount of sperm that's frozen on eggs that potentially are bad. Right. So. And this is the day that I'm supposed to be done. Yeah. Like we're suddenly, you know, it's built into a climax. Yeah. And we're really, we're ready. We're ready to get this over with. Um, and now we're being told, like, we should cancel. Yeah, and they said, you're going to trigger tonight either way because we need to get rid of the eggs. You're going to explode if you don't. Yeah, you're going to trigger tonight either way, and then you need to decide if you're going to retrieve. Uh-huh. So we had a long conversation with our doctor in our car in the parking lot of yeah. the cheese shop. <laughs> We went back into the cheese shop after. Well, because it was awkward. We, were like, we had collected items to buy. We ran out of the store. <laughs> so we had this long conversation with our doctor. And we decided that we were going to go through with the egg retrieval. Yeah. Do you remember why we ended up on that? I was just like, I'm not in a mental state to be like, never mind yeah. to all of it. And our doctor also said, like, it is not a guarantee by any means that this progesterone number is going to, like, ruin your eggs. Yeah. She was like, if Shane didn't have so little sperm here, yeah. I wouldn't be as concerned exactly. about Hannah's number. Like, it's not 
a huge, huge deal. Yeah. It's just given all the info. That was what she was saying. Yeah. And I think we, at that point, still kind of assumed that you would have sperm. Like we thought it was just a fluke. And the doctor had said, like, when you have such low numbers, some samples have none, some have 15, some have, you know, like it can just be up and down. Uh, So we just kind of assumed like, no, there'll definitely be some sperm there that day. (laughs) Like, let's just get the eggs out. Like it's, it's fine. Yes. So the day of the egg retrieval. Yeah. It's here. The worst part was the IV. I don't know. Oh. If, I guess I've had an IV like maybe once before. Uh-huh. I like I didn't really know what that was going to be. It was awful. <laughs> Did it hurt? It was in my hand. It I was mean, You were very brave. You, you it hurt a tiny bit. It was more the idea of it and then it was just like there while yeah. I was waiting for my procedure. It was just uh-huh. the idea of it was so the thing hanging out of my arm was so disgusting. I'm such yeah. a baby. I mean, like people get IVs all the time and I was like Oh, this is this is scary. So Hannah had the IV because the procedure you go under for. Yeah, uh, she's asleep while they harvest. Thank God. Uh, before the IV, I did my fresh collection. Yep. Um, and that I felt like I was like you know, a, an athlete at the championship game, <laughs> and just like in the locker room, I was High like, stakes. "Come on, come on, you got this!" Like you've been training your whole life for this. Uh huh. So I I give my sample. So we, I, I, I wake I up. I give it. I give my you, sample. All right. You give your sample. <laughs> I wake up in the recovery room. I am out of it. <laughs> she was so funny. <laughs> Apparently, I kept asking for my phone to take a picture or a video. And then Shane and my mom would be like, you already you already did that. The phone is in your hand. And you'd and be I would like, take wait. Another. You'd be like, how long have you guys been here? And we're <laughs> like, 15 again. minutes. <laughs> You're still recovering. <laughs> I apparently slept for a long time too. I was, yeah. I was napping for a long time after. But you, your egg retrieval went really well. Yes. Yeah, so the doctor came in. Go ahead. No, Sorry. you go. You go. No, the doctor came in and said that we got 22 mature looking good eggs. Which is incredible. Yeah, we That's were really, really happy. That's a really good number of eggs. Especially after the progesterone was high, we were afraid that we would get like zero, that they had all prematurely ovulated. We didn't know. So we were happy with that. I mean, think about when you buy eggs from the grocery store, you only get 12. <laughs> Wow, Shane, have you been, did you write that yesterday? <laughs> no. Or have you been holding on to that? That, I mean, it might shock you, but that just came to my brain. <laughs> um, so the doctor tells us that, and then we have the embryology department come in, and they're like, so we're still looking, we're still looking. Still analyzing the sample. For sperm. Still looking for a sperm. <laughs> Haven't found one yet, but we're still looking. They did not have the cheeriest Mm-mm. demeanor. They were like, oh, we don't want to tell them. We yeah. don't want to tell them. Uh, but, uh, you know, I was more worried at that moment about Hannah recovering. And, like, Hannah had just gone through, like, hell the last few days. And now it was over. And, like, I was relieved that it was over for Hannah. Yeah. So we really just worried about that. Um, at the end of Hannah's recovery that day in the hospital, like, an hour, hour and a half later, they still had not located <laughs> a sperm, but they were like, no worries. We're still looking. We're going to unthaw your frozen stuff. No, they already had. They were looking in both. They were looking at everything. Yeah. You're right, you're they right. were, that, so basically, <laughs> they were like, we'll keep looking. And then a couple hours later, like when we were home, we got a call yeah. of them saying we, you know, there was no sperm in the frozen that survived and there were no sperm in the fresh. So yeah. we froze all of the eggs. We have 22 frozen eggs yes and zero sperm zero sperm at the moment we have a little bit more frozen yeah. from the original batch um but not very high confidence that when we thaw it there will be anything usable there Yeah, because we thawed the rest of it and there was nothing so we're holding on to that to hopefully combine with some fresh and de- like we just basically they don't want to defrost my eggs just to defrost the frozen sperm and find that there's nothing in them and then we just wasted the eggs yeah. so it's a balancing act of like, how much do you risk? Yeah. And so that phone call, that was really the conclusion of like, you have no sperm. We, yep. s- we froze the eggs. This is your outcome. Yep. <laughs> we were not happy. Yeah. <laughs> we were, I was so upset. Yeah. We, I mean, we just thought like kind of quiet. I, I, I remember. Yeah. But that's what I remember those days being like, we were just like, not to each other, but just like, yeah. Our usual presence in the world was diminished. Yeah. We weren't really posting online. We weren't really talking to our, like, 
people a whole mm-hmm. lot. We were just kind of like being with each other, playing Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> and just being like, all right, you know what? We're going to process this, figure it out, be sad, yep. and move on. So, listening ahead. Yeah. That was five weeks ago. <laughs> that was now. five weeks ago. What's the plan? What's the plan, <laughs> Shane? <laughs> I think what we've decided, I know what we've decided, is that like sharing all this is really difficult. Uh, it comes with a lot of like emotional, whatever stress. Mm-hmm. Um, I, we're gonna keep private the plan moving forward, at least for now. Yeah. The timeline is kind of vague, but just know we have a plan with our doctors. Um, and we're like confident in the plan. Was that fair to yeah. say? Mm-hmm. So that is our IVF round one yep. <laughs> outcome in a nutshell. Yep. Wasn't, that wasn't that wasn't such a nutshell. That was in long form. Was a twenty minute <laughs> nutshell. Big nutshell. Uh, not a fan. No, not a fan recommend. of the process. No, honestly, it was easier than I thought it would be. I do want to say my recovery from the egg retrieval was horrible. That That's was right. Like, we kind of we. Oh, you, I forgot about that. It was that. funny when you were like, "I was just so glad in the recovery room that it was all over for Hannah," and I was like, "Um, the by far worst part was the seven days after that." I Edward forgot Chico. you were like, "You were bedridden." Yeah, that was the hell part because like the actual injections, I was pretty fine. I didn't have any side effects. I was very full at the end, but it was manageable. The freaking egg retrieval. I forgot. Like, that's all a blur. I gained eight pounds in water in my abdomen overnight. Had to yeah. call the doctor and be like, uh. I didn't know it was, like, painful. Oh, it was. <laughs> I could barely move. I literally could barely move. I couldn't walk. Your mom was lifting me for, like, every lift. Yeah, it was awful. It was a lot. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry to forget your painful experience. Yeah, I'm like, um, I just have one more thing to say. Uh, no, but in case anyone has done an egg retrieval and is like, I guess it wasn't bad for her. It was horrible. So the thing that they tell you is that you have to eat lots and lots of salty food. Yeah. Hannah was really good at that. She uh, drank like nine liquid <laughs> IVs every day. I became addicted to liquid IV. I, I'm still drinking them every day because that's, I think it's good for my health. You were like nachos, pretzels, pickles, yep. pickles, anything with a lot of sodium, just salt and vinegar chips, a lot of salt that I did not approve of. I hate <laughs> the smell, <laughs> but for you, anything. I will sacrifice. And me in bed eating my salt and vinegar chips, like poor Shane. <laughs> I've been dead in bed. I'd be like, why is, why is it crusty? <laughs> oh, it's salt and vinegar. I've just been here all day. I uh, totally forgot about that whole thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. We were like in morning. Yeah. So. It was, a, it was a, it's hard to even remember that time, but it was a while ago now. We're feeling better. We are feeling better. Yeah. I saw a, a comment the other day that was like, we were sharing the, the sperm test bad results on Instagram. Yeah. And I saw a comment that was like, this is obviously fake. They don't seem upset. Oh my God. I'm like, we are not the kind of people yeah. that are going to hit record yep. when we're actually at our low moment yeah we can't do that weird it's just weird it's weird um it's so like that's private stuff yeah and if (laughs) i got upset recording this video i would have like stopped it right now yeah i I would never record myself through like act like being we wait until we process it yeah so that we can tell you about it in a way that doesn't reduce (laughs) us and you to tears yeah um, not my thing. I totally respect anybody that wants to record themselves crying, but that I will never. I cannot do that. Not our style. Yeah. I uh, barely want to cry in front of like you. you know, like I just am not a fan of crying uh, publicly. But just, you know, not that I don't think most of you feel that way, but we have our low moments privately. Yes. And then the way that we are as people is when we move on, we are able to laugh about it and like yeah. make fun of it with each other and you. Yep. So that's what's going on. To that individual, <laughs> shut up. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, had to, I had to end on that note. The other, oh, one other this caveat. Is, sorry, sorry. Is it like this is one round of IVF and we acknowledge and understand that yeah. lots of people have done many more rounds, uh, sometimes unsuccessfully. Yeah. And like, we our heart goes out to all of you. Yeah. Just in one round we've learned how difficult this can be. So, Absolutely. Uh, but that is where we are at. Yep. And that is the story right now. 
We'll let you know when we have another update. Yes, we will. The fight, the wait, the battle may have been lost, but the war is far from over. Oh, wow. Your, your mayhem, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>